We are at the Aztec Ruins National Monument here in Aztec, New Mexico. We are going to go to see the ruins today. Maybe it's that building we go in? I think so. We don't know. We don't know where we're going. They have a ranger talk at 10, so we're well, probably 30 minute ranger talk at 10, so we'll probably do that. That's what they put on their foot, bud. I think they made this out of Well, they made a lot of it out of um, yucca. Some of it they used other things that were growing, but an awful lot of it they would use that uh, they would gather I know, right? uh, and roughly halfway between is Aztec ruins. For a brief period, less than 200 years, Aztec's people flourished here. So you can scan the QR code and listen to it, or you can purchase the little trail book, which we did. So we're going to read it. The Aztec never lived here. The Aztec ruins was built by ancestors of Native American people who are still living in the Southwest today. The site got its name because early Spanish explorers traveling north from Mexico commonly used the term Aztec when naming many of the ancient sites they encountered. The name was later popularized, popularized in literature during the 1800s. Although different tribes have their own names for their ancestors, the ancient builders of Aztec ruins are generally called Ancestral Pueblan people. People would have entered the great house here through an arc of single-story rooms and into the plaza. From here you can see the extent of this grand, pre-planned community. Great kivas like this one may have served as the religious core of the great house. built this um, pillar wood brick wood brick rock and deep deep down so these go below those pillars and they are four weighty limestone discs brought in from at least 30 miles away supporting the 95-ton roof. Wow. Great kivas like this one may have served as the religious core of the great house. Archaeologists believe great kivas were public buildings used by people in the surrounding community. They may have brought together different clans for ceremonies and other functions. Great kivas were usually in the plaza or near the great house where everyone in the community could see them. Though not all great kivas are identical, they share a number of common features, including large size, a central fire pit, four pillars, and floor vaults. The use of the vault is unclear. The ancient people may have laid planks of wood across the vaults to use them as foot drums 
or as a place to start plants in the early spring. The round room was another kind of kiva or ceremonial chamber. Kivas like this may have been used by clans or other groups such as medicine or religious societies. Most communities had many smaller kivas, but only one or two great kivas. The roof in this kiva was actually domed or cribbed with timbers resting one upon another, a common style for kiva roofs. Watch your head. Ow. <laughs> Don't look up. How do you get through these things? Crawl. <laughs> they were little. <laughs> I feel I feel really bad for cutting up at an ancient sacred place. I'm sorry, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> you can go through this one now. <laughs> Look up at the ceilings that are still intact after 900 years. The large beams, or vigas, are made of widely spaced spruce, Douglas fir, or ponderosa pine, aspen, or even plain pine. Rather than using local timber, the builders chose to bring in high quality roof beams from higher elevations over 20, 20 miles away to the north. Look along the length of the north wall of the building. If you were standing at this spot at dawn on the summer solstice, you would see the sun rise along the wall and the wall also aligns with sunset on the winter solstice. The ancestral Puebloan people incorporated solar and lunar alignments into much of their construction. Markers like this were important both agriculturally and to keep a precise ceremonial calendar that is still observed by Southwestern tribes today. And we saw a film inside that showed that the sun came up and it traveled and the beam just came right along this wall. Totally amazing. You can still see it today in the different solstices. In these modern communities, Pueblo people keep alive many of the same traditions and customs that flourished here. The people continue to come back to honor the spirits of their ancestors who they believe still inhabit this place. <laughs> 